This may look like I'm working at a cool tech company right now, but I'm actually at the airport. Singapore Changi Airport is often ranked the best airport in the world, so when it opens up a brand new terminal, you can be sure expectations are pretty high. And there's so much new technologies at this terminal, and I'm wondering, is it possible to go through the entire process without interacting with any human personnel? There's kiosks everywhere you look. In fact, it's nearly impossible to find a human working when you check in for your flight. There's literally no traditional counter with a human here. You have all your kiosks here for check-in. And then over on this side, you have kiosks for backdrop. Even the bag check is fully automated. Specifically designed so that you don't have to like lift your large luggage. You can sort of just gently put it over the edge. And of course, there's touchscreen monitors everywhere. But the Wi-Fi is a bit complicated. At some airports, you can log on right away, but here, I have to scan my passport to get a Wi-Fi code. Off to a rough start. It generates a password. The airport has candy at the information counter. The options, green apple, mint, or grape. Going for green apple. There's many options for places to charge your devices. You have two USB ports and one universal socket. And instead of the advertisements you usually see at baggage claim sections, this airport has a lot of plants and greenery. The water station, you can get cold, warm, or hot. Oh, and she speaks. Warm water. Cold water. The water section is a bit complicated. Took a few minutes, but I got it. It's time to head to my gate. At the other terminals of this airport, your passport and boarding pass are usually checked twice by human personnel. But this terminal takes automation to a whole new level. You scan your passport, boarding pass, and give your fingerprint. And just like that, you're ready to leave the country. My first interaction with a human isn't until the security check process. I don't need to take out my laptop. <laughs> It's all carpeted too, which it makes it quite uh, nice and relaxing. The lighting is really good too. Now it's time to find a relaxing chair. It may not look like it, but this chair is actually really comfortable. It sort of molds to your back. Really, really relaxing. There's a number of computers that you can choose to work from. and more gardens. These are real fish. A giant LED light wall plays homage to Singapore's culture and heritage. The display shows how shop house architecture has evolved from the 1880s to 1950s. And of course, you can't forget about the airport lounges. And now it's time to head to my gate. Again, more automation. It's time to board the plane. Instead of one line, we line up into three lines and most of us board, again, without any human interactions. The turnstile has a camera and records my face as I board the plane. 